When it comes to kart racing, it's difficult for any game to come close to Mario Kart, it effectively created the entire genre and somehow continues to find ways to get better. It has intricacies that make it enjoyable for seasoned racers and is inviting enough that even people who don't usually play video games can have fun with it. It's a formula many companies have tried to replicate and bring to the PlayStation and Xbox with moderate success. Often, it's a lazy attempt that barely manages to be half as fun as a Mario Kart game. Some are worthy of being competitors, a few of which have well-known characters anchoring the game. Suppose players wanted to see who would win in a race between Reptar and Spongebob, or see who among the Ninja Turtles is the fastest racer. In that case, Nickelodeon Kart Racers helps make that possible, bringing those three popular franchises into a kart racing game. While the names are significant, the actual gameplay leaves much to be desired. To make it worse, Nickelodeon doesn't even come close to using enough of their franchises, leaving out Invader Zim, among others. Nickelodeon Kart Racers isn't a terrible option if players don't have a Nintendo platform and absolutely have to have a kart racer with familiar characters. F1 Race Stars was an attempt to make a more arcade-style game with the teams and racers from the 201-2 Formula 1 season. In many ways, it was much like NBA Jam or NFL Blitz, two games that tried to appeal to a different fan base than their standard simulations did. The results weren't half bad, either. F1 Race Stars is pretty fun and delivers on the arcade format, but it lacks some of the wackiness that makes other kart races so fun, which is an expected trade-off given the license. Cars 3 Driven to Win was the perfect game for families to play with their kids. Cars was immensely popular at the time, giving the game an instant connection with kids. The controls weren't bad either, making it more than playable for adults. It took a while to unlock characters in Cars 3, Driven to Win, which was likely a boon, giving kids more of a reason to keep playing it. It may not have reinvented the wheel, but it was a fun game that was better than most movie tie-ins are and some might even say it was better than the movie it is based on. LEGO Racers came out at the tail end of the 90s and presented some of the first real competition to Mario Kart in the kart genre. They ended up making a valiant attempt on the PlayStation, with the game ending up only a notch below its competitor. What held it back was the ungodly load times and the framerate spikes. Spikes in framerate are bad in any game but it's even worse in a racer where that stutter can be the difference between first and second place. No one wants a race decided like that. It would be nice to see LEGO Racers get a remaster that fixes some of its technical issues so more people can experience this overlooked title. Until then, the upcoming LEGO 2K Drive definitely looks like it will fill the void for those looking for a new LEGO Racers. Jack X Combat racing went under the radar with many fans, even those who loved Jack Daxter are slightly surprised by its existence. It is such a departure from the other, better, Naughty Dog games that it felt like it came out of nowhere, and that's a shame because the game was one of the best racers on the PlayStation 2. Jack X Combat racing made the bold decision to meld Mario Kart's core gameplay with Twisted Metal. This blend created a game that was just as much about destroying opponents as it was about racing them. Little Big Planet is one of the most beloved games on the PlayStation 3, and there's a good reason for it. It was Mario Maker before Mario Maker was a thing, a game that gave players infinite possibilities to be as creative as they desired. Imagine a game like that getting mashed together with a kart racing game. The result is Little Big Planet Karting, which gave players the best of both worlds. They could create to their heart's content as well as race. It's one of the few non-Mario Kart games that was truly great. If only Mario Kart would feature a track creation tool. The term underrated gets thrown around a lot with games or movies, but rarely is there an entity more deserving of it than Mod Nation Racers. It's a game that few even remember or knew about when it was first released. Made by United Front Games, 
It combined the creativity of Little Big Planet with the kart racing of Mario Kart two years before Little Big Planet karting came out. If players could dream it up, it could be made a reality in Mod Nation races. However, its big downfall was long load times. Mod Nation Races was ambitious for its time, and hopefully, it someday gets a second chance with a sequel. For most of its existence, Sonic Racing was a by-the-numbers clone of Mario Kart. It was fun, but it didn't innovate much and only tried to be an alternative to players who didn't have a Nintendo. That all changed with Team Sonic Racing, which helped combine the core game with a team aspect used in Sonic Heroes. Team Sonic Racing had everyone be part of teams, making victory a collective experience rather than singular. Everyone had to work together, or defeat was assured. It made the whole game feel unique in the racing genre and an all-around great Sonic spin-off. Blur answers the question of what would happen if Need for Speed and Mario Kart were mashed up into one game. Blur combined the street racing elements and cars of Need for Speed and transported them into a more arcade setting. There were power-ups galore, from missiles to massive speed boosts, it made for an incredibly fun game that was real enough for fans who disliked the childish look of Mario Kart and arcadey enough that fans of Mario Kart would feel right at home. When players consider alternatives to Mario Kart, Crash Team Racing is always at the top of the list. There's a reason for that, and it's the closest PlayStation owners ever got to playing a Mario Kart game. In 2019, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled gave the racing game a remaster for modern systems. Its course designs are on par with Mario Kart, as are the seamless controls. The power-ups are a little different, and that's part of its charm. It brings enough to the table that it doesn't feel like a lazy clone. The only thing that separates the two races is the cast of characters. Most of Crash's friends and enemies are forgettable and don't hold a candle to the legendary lineup in any given Mario Kart game.